Hello, welcome to CB1 General 2, Unit 51, Sports. In this unit, we will develop the way to talk about wishes and things that we regret uh, to talk about something that you could and couldn't do and to talk about the sequence. Objectives. Wish with past perfect for expressing regret. Wish with past for uh, talking about hypothesis. Sequences with first, next, then, etc. Many times we express regret about a past event because we wish have done something different. For being able to do it, we need to follow the next structure, affirmative, subject plus wish plus object plus have plus verb in past participle plus complement. Examples. I wish I had studied harder. Next example. She wishes she had gone to the concert. He wishes she had visited him in the hospital. Next example. We wish you had come with us to the gala. As far as we can see, wish changes in the third person of the singular. All right, now we are going to talk about the negative. And the negative structure, we are going to use the subject plus wish plus object plus have plus not plus the verb in past participle plus the complement. As we can see, we are going to use the same structure than in the affirmative, but in this case, the particle not is going to do the difference. Examples. You wish I had not seen you kissing another girl. Next example. She wishes she had not eaten too much hamburgers. Next example. He wishes she had not visited him in the hospital. Next example. They wish they had not forgotten their mother's birthday. Examples. I wish I had passed all my exams. I wish I had been able to buy tickets for that concert. I wish he had told me the truth. I wish I hadn't met him. Here what we can see is that after the verb wish, as in the, in the structure we ex uh, explained, is that we are going to use past perfect. The auxiliary have and the main verb in past participle in all of the cases. Meanwhile, for wishes in a present situation, we use the following structure of wish. Examples. I wish I were rich, but I am not. I wish I could fly. I wish I spoke English more fluently. I wish I lived in a house near the beach. Here we are going to see that, first of all, we are going to use, in the case of to be, where for all the, the persons. 
I wish I wear, I wish she wear, I wish he wear. And in the other verbs, we are going to use them in the simple past. For the affirmative structure, here we have subject plus wish plus object plus verb in simple past plus the, the complement. Examples. I wish I studied more for the test. Next example. She wishes she went with her friends. He wishes he were happier. We wish we came earlier for the party. Okay, here we are going to talk about the negative structure. Here we have the subject plus wish plus object plus the verb in simple past plus not plus the complement. As far as we can see, it's the same structure than in the affirmative, but here we are going to use the particle not. Uh, so here we have an example. You wish you were not here in this moment. Next example. She wishes she did not call him last night. Next example. He wishes you were not guilty. Next. They wish they were not so mean to their brother. Check out. Remember that the simple past of verb to be for all the people, all the persons, is where. Okay, so here we are going to check up the use of the connectors for indicating the order in a sequence of events. This kind of connectors can be divided in the following categories and they can be used for recipes, for saying the steps to uh, take to any, to get to any place among others. Here we have category and connector. The category, the category is introduction of ideas. The connector is first. The category sequencing different actions. The connector, next, later, then, after that. The category of conclusion. The connector, finally. When we use connectors, we have to take into account two situations. First, Normally, they are written at first of the sentence or the paragraph. Second, they are always followed by commas. Here we go. Uh, let's see, let's check up the example. How to make an English cup of tea? Introduction of ideas. First, you have to boil water in a kettle. Then, you warm the teapot with boiling water. After that, put some tea, early gray if possible, into the teapot. Sequence. Next, leave it for two to four minutes, <coughs> depending on the tea. Conclusion. Finally, you can put some milk into the cup and your cuppa is ready. Enjoy. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it has been useful for you. If you have some more doubts, contact your tutor or your monitor. Don't forget to work with the exercises and activities in the platform. Meet you at the conversation class.